Well, I just got the parts in for my Stratton American Standard shower valve. What happened was this froze over the winter time because we uh, winterized the house and I didn't get all of the water out of this valve. So what I'm going to do is show you how to put these valves in there if you ever need to replace your valves. So first off I've shut the water off and then I open the valve just to drain the water if there is any left in the uh, system there. So it's completely empty and then underneath this handle is a small hole where you can put the uh, Allen wrench that comes with this faucet up in there loosen a set screw and the handle knob should pull right off of there just like so so set that aside and then this one only has two Phillips head screws to hold this plate on there so just a Phillips head screwdriver is all you need and these are pretty long bolts And this is the valve, so that has three standard screws. That red adjuster ring is so you can adjust the temperature of the water. It controls how far the handle actually moves. And again, take note of how the valve was in there. The round circle was on the top for this particular one. Set the screws aside and now you have three screws, flat heads. Again, the round circles on the top for this cartridge and this pull this ring off around the outside. Okay, and then just take note, I've kind of got a discolored section here that goes to the bottom. With any kind of lock, that should pull right out of there. Now you've got some O-rings on the back side of this. Make sure that they stay in place. I'm not sure what that is. And I'm going to look in here and clean it out if there's any debris or anything. Actually, it looks okay. You just need to make sure that these two little green pieces, I don't know if they're green on yours, but they are on mine, fit right into two holes in the back of this big hole. And then it presses up against that tightly to seal those O-rings. There we go. And then put the ring back on. And then on this piece you can see where the set screw goes. So make sure that you've got that pointed down like the old one. I'm going to take the little rubber thing off of here. I'll take that off and transfer it to this one after I get this installed. Here's the little white piece I was telling you about. Just fills the gap for the handle. Make sure that the hole is in the bottom where the set screw goes. Press that on. We'll slide the handle back on. I'll go turn the water on and check it before I put the set screw in. And it should be done.